Yeah, this is... I'm assuming you're talking about this, the guy that just talked about the lawyer. The Parkland school shooter is on trial now. I'm sure most of you know that. But it doesn't seem like many people realize just how absolutely insane his defense team is. So for pretty much this whole trial... Well, I actually can't say the whole trial because I've only seen the clips. For a while now, they've been making absolute fools of themselves. But it boiled over yesterday with a... Uh, public display of one of the lawyers giving the finger to the entire court and laughing with the school shooter and then one of the you know actually i'll just play it I, I don't even know why i'm giving the full context i'll just show you judge i'm standing here and i see that jeff marcus jumped up really quickly but no one jumped up when people were referring to karma acting in the universe no one was jumping up when they were referring to the defense children no one jumped up to try to tap down that rhetoric. That is the rhetoric that I am talking about. That is what I'm trying to be very clear on. Jeff, Marcus, the state, they can hide behind their arguments. But we all are witnessing what is occurring in this courtroom. Which is myself. I'm a judge. And, and I, I understand that I'm in charge you, of the decorum. And I feel that 99% or a great percentage of what has been said has been appropriate. Everybody has maintained decorum, but... So, what they're referring to, since I don't, I don't know if this clip is going to include it, apparently at some point, one of the defense lawyers, the family was brought up. I don't really know the context of it, but it, apparently there was an offhand mention of one of the lawyer's kids or something, and now they've completely steered away from, like, the actual core discussion... In order to address that, like, this is so disrespectful, I'm a fucking lawyer, how dare you bring up my kids, this is outrageous. And now they're making, like, this public complaint to the judge, and the judge is like, I don't know what you're talking about. From everything I've seen here, it's maintained a very professional decorum, nothing, you know, fishy or, or weird or low blows or anything. And then it starts to go off the rails. For a few comments, it's best to just move on, as opposed to highlight them. This is true, Judge. But I am witnessing a building of momentum. And I'm encouraging the court to direct the state to tap down on that momentum so it does not reoccur and it does not become a theme. Thank you, Judge. They're well, becoming too powerful, insulting the, the kids. The thing the state has said to any of these witnesses when they get up is would they like to say something on behalf of the victim they're representing? There's been no encouraging or inciting, as Mr. Weeks has put on this record. That is a blatant falsehood and a recreation of the record. As far as no objections being made, it's the defense that could have objected. It's not the state's duty to object to their own witnesses when they're testifying. These are the bits, okay. Jimmy, and the prime shorty. I, I, listen, I've already heard. Oh. If you have anything else to say, you can put it in writing at a later time. I've heard from both sides more than once. That's going to be it. I've made my decision. Let also, this judge is fucking awesome, awesome, by the way. Testified to has been appropriate. I do not want to highlight uh, the few things that were said that were perhaps not appropriate. And let's move on. You can have as many seconds as you want in writing. And you can put all of your objections in writing. They've been made multiple times. She speaks to them like children, like actual kids. McNeil, and I don't want to hear anything else. I've already heard it. Is there something that has not already been argued? Okay, exactly what is it? Judge, before Mr. Schachter took the podium and testified before this court, uh, I, sh I wanted to, for the record, reflect that both Mr. Marcus and Mr. Sass looked at the statement prior to, prior to the reading. And so their implicit adoption of what he was saying of his improper arguments was improper this court. And the court should have Okay, but what you are doing, right? So this guy is a giant big baby man. So I think the strategy was to get on a tangent to buy time or something so he starts whining like oh, wah, wah, wah. they were being mean wah, 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 wah. and the judge has already heard it like a thousand times by now so that's why she's like very like shutting it down yeah i guess kind of filibustering i suppose but like really pathetically so he just keeps bringing up the the way they spoke about this was very inappropriate it was ill-mannered they were not brought up properly very inhospitable and then eventually one of them 
they reflect, and one of the j- the lawyers from this team defending the Parkland school shooter just gave the whole court the finger. I think it's in this clip. I haven't actually watched this clip, but it's from this segment that I was watching. Right now, so I imagine it's here. Something and making more of a spectacle. So if your office in general does not want to facilitate and or incite violence, then we need to just sit down and move on. That's it. There were 18 witnesses, 16 or 18 witnesses. Like it feels like a teacher day. calling out the class no clown in front of everyone. Ms. McNeil made her point made, and, you know, we're moving on. So is the court going to do anything about maybe stopping it from happening again? When these people are upset about specific things that have gone on from that table, like shooting the yeah, middle finger is. up at this court and laughing and joking, Ms. McNeil, be quiet. Isn't that fucking wild? This is a school shooter, and this is part of his legal team, and they're just giggling with them, giving everyone the finger. Isn't that wild? I couldn't believe that shit. What, and I was reading, apparently, like, this judge showed tremendous restraint not holding this team in contempt, because they made a mockery out of the court. And I think the reason, at least based on what I read, I'm no expert, but the reason for them, for her not ha- holding them in contempt is because that prolongs this trial even longer. So she wanted to, like, make sure the sentencing gets passed smoothly, I believe. Because that is crazy, actually. Be quiet. When these people have sat in this courtroom and watched this behavior from that table, and they want to say that they're not happy about it, what is the problem? Judge, I have no problem because I have thick skin. But once you bring in my children, I think that's highly improper. I didn't even know you have children. I don't know what you're talking about. Your (laughs) children? What about your children? But that's a comment. I also don't even think he has children, for what it's worth. Okay. So I got real parasocial with this. I don't know this guy. I didn't really, like, look into him too much. But he doesn't have a wedding ring on. And I feel like he's just making shit up. Because he just keeps finding new things to whine about. And, like, pulling things out of thin air to whine about. And then he eventually just gets disciplined like a misbehaving youth. Okay. There was... I don't remember any comments about any children. And if there was, it, it, it obviously didn't... It, it, it came and went without me noticing it. Trish, I can assure you that if, if they were talking about your children, you would definitely notice it. You need to sit down right now. You're out of line. <laughs> in fact, you're excused. You need to go sit in the back with your... With your uh, and put on the dunce cap. Chief Public Defender. Put on the stupid hat. Mr. Weeks, please ask the lawyer from your office to go sit down and not say anything else. To try to threaten my children and bring up my children is inappropriate. Go to the back of the room now. (laughs) That just violated about every rule of professional responsibility that I have ever, I have never, if you're going to get up here and you're going to... Judge, I asked you to go sidebar on this matter. You, sidebar or not, <laughs> you don't have one of your assistant public defenders say something about my children? Judge, that same... It's, a, it's an absolute venom clown show. That the court is expressing is the same venom that defense counsel had to sit through this entire morning. She, when there. What do you mean? Like, so, the venom he's talking about is in reference to when the uh, the lawyer for the school shooter gave the finger and started laughing. I believe they got uh, reprimanded for that behavior. So that's the, I think, I could be wrong, I believe that's the venom he's referring to. It's not like they were just like innocently defending someone doing their due diligence in court. They were actively making a joke out of it. I am so glad a lot of these court cases are being like publicized now. Because a lot of this is absolute lunacy that I had no idea actually went on in these high-profile cases. It's crazy. I had no clue. Did this all happen today? No, it was yesterday. There's the Prime Felix Fletch and the Resub Rico Reaper Doinks Monk Pancake and the Tier 1 Old Greet. Brought up her children multiple times during the trial. Nobody knows if I'm barren or not. They don't know about my children. Sit down. 
Sit down. Judge. Sit down, Mr. Weeks. Please do not summarily dismiss I'm me. summarily dismissing I'm asking you. Go the court. sit down. I'm asking the court. I asked the court to go sidebar. Go sit down. You don't threaten the Judge. court's children. Your Everyone in this courtroom. Just did that. Go sit down. No, no one in this courtroom had to endure what we go had to endure. Go sit down. Miss, Miss McNeil has made her children a spectacle more than once during this trial. That was her choice. You have absolutely no right to have one of your assistants come up here and suggest something about my children. Now, please go sit down. Judge. You're Judge. inappropriate and out of line. Go sit down. Judge, may I have a brief recess? No. <laughs> go sit down. May I have a brief recess? Can I have some ice cream? My attorneys. We're moving on with the sentencing, Mr. Weeks. So I can have a brief recess? No. Thank you. It's 136. Thank you. Hey, great work out there. <laughs> you you got her, champ. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, it's it's a it is a wild trial. Which is so crazy because how can you even like act this way when you're defending someone who is like there's no room for argument. This is the school shooter. Like this is they are defending the school shooter and somehow laughing about it, joking with him and making a complete fool out of themselves like I don't get how this even happens. That's the job, though. The job is, like, they have a due diligence that they have to perform where they defend the defenseless, right? I get that. But why are they all laughing with them and flipping off the court? And then, like, talking about the judge's kids and, like, oh, why are you guys being mean to us? We just gave you the finger. Why do we have to endure such venom? They probably don't want to be there because they have no chance of winning. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but it still doesn't really excuse the actions. Like, you go there, go through the motions, do the bare minimum, and leave. Like, no one expects them to somehow get this kid out of jail or something. Yet they're in there, like, absolutely ruining their reputation. Like, shit, this, this guy, from what I've read, he could, like, legitimately be disbarred. This guy, big baby man. Isn't this Florida? Yeah, it's in Florida. He's the Prime Chief in the Resub Goobble Gobble and Dylan in the Prime Sanctum. If they don't disbar her for flipping the bird, I'll shit. Oh yeah, that was another thing. I mean, like, you can't really do that. Like, you can't just go into court as the goddamn lawyer and just give them all the finger. Like, not even Saul Goodman did that. And he was like the bad boy lawyer. It really isn't even subtle. Well, no, it's not subtle. They even start laughing about it, man. Court and laughing and joking, Miss McNeil, be quiet. It's just so weird. You would think that this is his mom. By the way, this is the piece of shit that pretended to be crazy in the interrogations. Yep. I know. I'm well aware. I, I may not have really kept up with the trial apart from these wacky clips, but I, I, I do know about the, the kid. What did he do? This is the school shooter, the Parkland school shooter. Links to Resub Lettuce and Rebel and Jack.
he's not a kid. He's an adult. Well, yeah, no, I, I, I say kid just because he's young. Like he's obviously an absolute monster. I'm not like excusing anything he did by calling him a kid. I think he's like 19. He's resub style and Custer. And the resub Luda. Didn't he plead guilty too? I don't remember actually. He may have. I'm not positive. He did? Mm. Thanks to the resub. Berm tea? And the bit silver. He was sentenced to life in prison today. Oh, they gave him life instead of the death penalty. Laser Prime has been. Thirty four consecutive life sentences. They give people death penalty still. Depends on this on the state. But yeah, I think they were pushing for death penalty, if I remember correctly. I didn't, I didn't know the sentencing was complete, so apparently today, sentenced to 34 consecutive life sentences with no parole.